research on the deaths, the, the deaths and what are these deaths in the United States of America. Number one, diseases of the heart. We have, uh, out of 100,000 population, we have 191.4 people who die every year of heart disease. And this goes on down the list. I think the lowest one is around 25. And these are all illnesses and automobile accidents. Does anybody know how many deaths are associated with firearms in the United States per 100,000? You might want to know that worldwide, the United States of America has 88 guns per 100 population. I'm proud of that. I think that's wrong. I think it's closer to 150. In Texas, right. The nearest one to us is Switzerland. They have 45 guns per 100 population. Yet, in this country, we have per 100,000 deaths associated with guns, we have 10 per 100,000, of which 10.3 are suicide. So if somebody asks you how dangerous guns are in this country, you could say that yes, we have gangbangers, we have thieves, we have criminals that are using guns to kill three people out of 100,000 population. Do you think that's something to worry about? Not so much that it infringes our rights. Of the top 15 methods of death in this country, guns are not associated. Do, do yourself a favor when you go back home, after you uh, go to Facebook, go to Houston 999 and like my page, Houston 999. Sir. My platform number six is to demand, not to request, demand enforcement of our Second Amendment. Yeah. For far too long, we have been, we have been with our heads in the sand. I've got a wife who tells me she, she pretended to be an Austin. And it's my job to protect the feathers that are on top of the ground. It wasn't too long ago, it was 250 years ago, that there were 26 men, approximately, that stood in front of the largest army in the globe, the world, Britain, in a place called Lexington in Concord. There were fewer people there, called militiamen, minutemen, who were there, the British platoon demanded to come in and, what do you think they were there for? The ball, they were there, the British were there to collect the ball and powder. Our guy said, no, you're not going to take it. Sort of like the cannon that we had in uh, Yalamo in 1836. We said the same thing, we said, come and take it. We had the smallest army in the world defeated the largest, most powerful army on the globe, Britain. Britain was everywhere. I only say that, so I'm going to repeat something that Samuel Adams told us in 1776. I'm talking to the choir. I know you all of you guys know this. If you love wealth better than liberty, or servitude over the animating contest of freedom, Go home from us in peace. We seek not your counsel or your arm. May you crouch down and lift the hands which feed you. May your chains rest gently upon you. For we will forget you were our countrymen. Samuel Adams, 1776, he did more than make beer. Thank you. <laughs>